This video is going to cover how to track paths and then perform an analysis on the angles. For tracking any joint, three segments are required, a proximal, middle, and distal marker. We will be tracking the knee joint, which means the hip will be the proximal marker and the ankle will be the distal marker. Now make sure you select markers to track from proximal to distal, as this will reduce confusion with the analysis later on. Also, make sure all tracking points are created on the same frame. To track the marker, right-click on the point of interest and hit Track Path. Now change the Object and Search window to closely encompass the marker. This can be done by right-clicking the Track Path and going to the Configuration menu. In this menu, you can change the color, size, and title of the path. You can also adjust the Object and Search windows by dragging the corner of each window or manually inputting the size. This will help keep the tracking point from moving off of the marker throughout the movement. Once all of the tracking is set, play through the movement until you reach the frame that you would like to stop tracking. Then right click on each tracking point and select End Path Edition. You can now export the data to an Excel spreadsheet. Hit File, Export to Spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel. Kinovia will export this file in a .xml format. So the next step is to open up the Excel sheet, rearrange the data, and save the file as a CVS. The data will need to be lined up so that the hip, knee, and ankle are beside each other on the spreadsheet. You can cut and paste the data into the right spot, then hit Save and select CVS. Now exit the spreadsheet and don't hit save as you've already saved it in the new format. Finally, you can run the data through the analysis program. Create a new folder on your desktop that only contains the CVS spreadsheet. Then open the program, insert the appropriate frame rate, load the file, and then start the program by clicking the arrow icon in the left hand corner. The analysis is now complete and your file should be in your folder on the desktop. You can now open up the file and create a simple line graph. 